Hello and welcome to Tundor Gaming and we've got something new today, Skyopolis 3. Don't worry, I will be going back to Live in the Village Part 2 and my minor slash RPG. I've just been having some trouble with the latter, uh, with the Curse Forge um, switch over. <laughs> it's um, been a nightmare to deal with, but I'm getting onto it. Okay, but today, Skyopolis 3, this is a mod pack by Ben Ben Law. Uh, there is a Skyopolis 4 currently in Alpha. It is slightly different. It's not just like an update. There's, there's a new sort of pattern to it. Uh, but... Um, Skyopolis 3 seems mostly set, still getting a few updates, uh, but there's a lot to get into, a lot I have not gotten into with my little muckarounds, uh, but I've certainly got the start going, so let's get underway. Uh, I'll skip ahead to World Generation, because it always messes up my recording software, the load, the load up. Okay, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are. It is a Skyblock pack, of course, as you probably would have guessed from the title card. Uh, if you do not have this, you should have just been able to start a new world and create one of these. Uh, you may have mucked around with the settings if you were naughty. Uh, if so, just make sure it's Garden of Glass and you'll get the world generation type that you need. The only thing you need to um, think about with your world generation uh, is what biome you're in. If you look in the top right corner, you'll see I'm in a flower forest, so I should be fine. Uh, if you're in a desert, it can be a bit little harder because you'll never get rain, and um, having rain can help shortcut you to a few options. Okay, so uh, let's look at the quest line, and you'll see just how busy a quest pack this is. It's Ooh, that's just the first page and uh, can be a little overwhelming uh, but a lot of fun um, processes here to take you through and I will be working through those I pr pretty much got most of all of these done um, on my little uh, attempted plays uh, with this mod pack uh, and even a bit of the next set which is building on up and as you can see there's quite a variety of different uh, things here lots of mods and lots of options which is a lot of fun uh, then there's tech oh getting tech from your simple storage drawers to things that are a lot more complex uh, which is fun uh, dimensions so a bit of dimension exploring always fun and of course yes bump off some monsters and get some rewards handy uh operation creative essence so the idea of this mod pack is can you make creative essence well that's the question the um the mod maker has posed on their title page so um yeah i'm nowhere near any of this stuff i don't even know what it is anyway uh and then there's some specific challenges just for fun and um there's also a setup some of these uh quests will give you coins as rewards uh, see if I can find one. Do, do, do. No, of course I won't find the one. Straight. There we go. Hey, coins, and you can spend those on stuff as long as you make the thing. Um, apparently, yeah, I'm not just trying that one. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of stuff to get through. But let's get back to the basics. So, where you start with this, because um, yeah, it can s sort of feel overwhelming, but just start up here with this F. TB teams. Now the idea is that you can play this together. Now it says here not currently working waiting for a mod update so uh, but still you can get some bonus um, bonus honey or whatever that is I can't remember. Uh, then if you want to check mark this one and you, ooh, you can get a funky piece of porcelain clay stuff but this is where it really starts you got to get 16 pebbles to get underway so let's do that and it's a bit of ex nihilu uh, options here but first let's clear out our hands don't need to carry any of this stuff we don't need to worry about mobs um, because they won't spawn this close to your spawn point uh, we also have a little bit of light Ooh, magic light and sky don't break that unless you want it to be fully dark so, uh, to get pebbles is the old hold down the shift key and your right mouse button. You don't need to spam it, just hold it down and it will pop, 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 plop them out. And you'll need a few to get started. Um, well, I, the way I start anyway, I grab a few of these. So it's, it's pretty... Um, it flows pretty well when you use the quest lines to, to get you started and you don't need to worry about mobs uh, until you want to because for them to spawn you're going to have to create uh, a place for them to spawn 
out from, you know, I think it's 32 blocks or whatever it is from, from your swing point. And so you're in control of that. So you can keep yourself a nice, safe little platform until you're ready to take them on. Or the quest lines really are urging you to do so before you can go any further. But grab yourself a whole stack of pebbles. That's what I'm doing. Now, so with those, we've satisfied a quest. Da -da -da, and get some more and you get these um, rocket boots but I don't use them because every time I try and use them I tend to shoot myself off the island uh, maybe you're more handy with those and you'll find it useful uh, so what happens if I fall like well that's one good thing if you go up to this little quest for giving void it will tell you that if you fall off the island you will um, respawn above it <laughs> and you'll land back on it it will hurt a lot and you'll almost die but as long as you've got full health you will survive so that's nice isn't it and you get a little more food i'm not going to choke up my inventory yet not till i've got a chest down so that's why i'm not collecting my rewards at this point the other thing uh they want to tell you about is ftb ulti mine uh and that just is yeah one of your block excavators which is always helpful so to show you how that works, um, I moved my Ultimine button to my mouse 5 button, the one on the side, or one of the ones on the side. I just find that easier to do, but you just hold it down and um, yeah, press your left click and you'll mine. I just mined all of the grass. Now, I don't want to mine all of the dirt because I'll probably get myself into trouble. There is a, um, what do we call it, a, a, a bedrock? piece under there but I'll probably lose the dirt and I want to keep it one thing I don't want is this water <sighs> you create your own water as part of the mod pack and I find when I've got that water flying around in my attempts to preserve it I'm more likely to get knocked off <laughs> than I am to find it useful later so I tend to just get rid of it just to simplify life for myself maybe that's not the quickest method but yeah I don't like dying and losing resources, I guess, is probably the biggest thing I don't like doing. I guess I can handle the dying part. Anyway, so we've got Living Root here as part of the island. And again, that's a finite resource. I do not want to lose it. So what I'm going to do is turn my pebbles into cobblestone. Pretty simple recipe. Great thing about this mod pack is if you press tab... Oops. Yeah, sorry, just froze for a second there. If you press tab, it will actually fill your crafting uh, table or blocks or whatever with the last recipe you did, which is great for things like mega piles of pebbles to make that process a lot quicker. Then what I do is I change these into cobblestone bricks. And the reason I do that is because later on you're going to be turning the um, cobblestone into gravel and if your platform is made of cobblestone then you can basically um, ulti mine the floor out from underneath you but <laughs> if by putting down the cobblestone bricks i can freely ulti mine all the cobblestone i want and have a secure platform that i'm standing on uh, so yeah you can guess i've done that more than once uh, before i so to change that great reward here it simplifies things a lot you used to have to do a lot of um, right clicking on the dirt to get all enough stone to make a decent base but now with a cobblestone generator it's not nearly so important now next thing i'm going to do because i do not want to lose a single piece of uh anything dirt or um the living root so what i do is i just edge out here and I use that lovely new Minecraft feature of um, the, the brackets, the square brackets. Now, if you're not familiar with this, if you point next to a block like so, you get the sharp brackets and it will place a block uh, on the side of, of the nearest block. So this one. So I could put a stone block there. But I want to make sure I get everything from underneath. So if I use the square brackets, Bingo, I can put a platform underneath. Whoop, I didn't want to do that. I wasted that one. See, like so. And now, when I, if I get this all filled out, I can make sure that I'm not going to lose any of the resources. They'll all 
uh, fall down onto my platform instead. I guess as long as you had some resources, you could build them back up, but that, you know, why do that if you don't have to? So I can do this, make sure that everything gets covered, and also get the start on a uh, home platform or home base. Let's come out here. I like to give it an extra one in case, you know, sometimes things fall sideways a little bit. Uh, and it can be heartbreaking to watch them float away into the void. Now there's one thing I've never actually explored in my couple of playthroughs. Uh, see if I can see them. There's, there's these little floaty things, green floaty things around down low. Maybe they come out at night, I don't know. That's how we doing. Yep, it looks like I've, I've got my safety margin there. Good, good, good. So now when I go back and use my ultimate one, I don't have to worry about anything falling into the void and losing it. So there's that piece of bedrock I was telling you about. Which comes becomes useful later, I think, for one of the tools or something. I don't know, I've not used it yet, but I remember seeing it somewhere being incorporated in one of the mechanisms. Anyway, okay, so what's next? Well, quest pack can guide you. We've got the living route, so we go, yay, and it tells you that, um, no, it doesn't tell you. Over here it'll tell you. Okay, cast four, create, craft four living roots to make an oak sapling. Dun, da, da. And you can twerk it to make a tree grow. Now one thing, because I've set up here, that can block some growth. So, probably best moving it out a little bit extra. Otherwise it takes longer for your, um, for your tree to grow. I'm not going to use of it because you can also use it as you may have just seen uh, to make uh, the what is a floral fertilizer for botanica so um, I'm not going to turn it all into saplings because I don't need to and then you just do, -do, 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 -do your twerking and bingo we've got a tree yay uh, now what I'm going to do first is grab some wood so we've got this one's done, bonus sapling, this one gives us So just by mining one, I've now actually got five. And that is going to be very useful because I turn it all into planks. And then I make a crafting table. You'll notice that, okay, more rewards, more wood, bonus crafting table, and I can make a crook. So again, I'm getting maximum value. So I could put that down there, but you can actually use crafting tables for something else. But what I want, oop, wrong one. E, that's what, that's what we want. What I'm actually going to do is, if I turn, oh yeah, sticks. Make myself a handheld crafting table. So I don't even have to take up space with that. That's not going to be wasted though, because one of the other quests I can use crafting tables for. But now I can make some crooks for breaking the leaves and getting silkworms and a better rate of saplings. See, I've now got 13 saplings. Bingo! <laughs> with one tree. Very helpful. And I can make now an axe. Uh, let's move some of this stuff out here. And I can also make a. Uh, ooh, let's get this out of here. This is something I like to do. Ooh, I'll make a chest first. That's a quest. You can always change these into regular chests. You see there? Just by, you know. Let's see, this is a quark chest, and that's just a regular Minecraft chest. 
just a thing um, because you do actually get a Minecraft chest for a reward, I believe. Let's go have a look. Uh, where's the chest reward? Yeah, see. So if you want to do a double chest, then you can use that instead. Okay. Where are we tacking it up now, though? We can make an oak drawer. It's pretty simple. This is what I, this is how I like to do it. You don't have to. You can go a bit simpler if you want, but I like doing it this way. So make the oak drawer. So I can get 32 stacks in that drawer just as it is. So what I like to do then is I put down my cobblestone generator there. And my storage is raw, and it will start filling up with cobblestone for me, and a lot of them. And it's very easy to um, increase the space. But I can do that. Focus on collecting some more materials, such as this wood. And all the time, uh, I will have. Ooh, apples. That's another good one. Now you'll notice I broke a crook, but because I had another one in my inventory, it popped in. If it's on the, if it's on your quick bar, it won't automatically pop in. But if it's in your main inventory, it will. Uh, which is, yeah, just one of those inventory tweaks that are very helpful. Okay, so you can do that for a bit if you want to build up a few resources. This is your call on that one, depending on what your priorities are. Ooh, I'm out of crooks. Unlike the government, bung bung. Anyway, there we go. So, yeah, see, there's a start. I've gotten a nice start with some nice resources without too much trouble. Probably my next priority, though, is I probably want a bed because phantoms are a thing and it won't take long before they're coming to get me. So that's of course what you use a silkworm for. You can put a couple down, it just depends on how long you want to wait. You get so many silkworms, I don't think you need to be stingy with them. You can cook them as well, so they're edible. Uh, and that can be a handy food source before you set up a garden or whatever. Because uh, you get a lot of silkworms and, and a lot of string. You can also use silkworms in, uh, for fertilizer stuff, um, so that's another thing. When you're creating dirt, that's all right. So I'll let that go. Um, I want, yeah, that's a bonus. One of those. So you can see the next next ways to go. We're going into sieve territory, uh, barrels to create dirt, and here we're already started on the string section. Da da da, string section. It's like music. Ha ha ha. And over here is obviously creating the materials for the sieve. So there's your various directions, just getting your basic materials happening. Uh, the infested leaves won't decay, is one thing. Um, you need to break them all. So I'll show you what I mean. The pack has fast leaf decay effect. But see, they're not decaying, they're just sitting up there in the air. So, obviously, a crook is your best bet for your best um, return of resources. There we go. What did I say about getting lots? <laughs> I've got almost, well, I've got two, almost three stacks of silkworm, and what's that? Almost six stacks of string from one tree. So, like I said, you do not need to be stingy with your silkworms they will appear very quickly and in plenty of quantities um, if you've not used storage drawers before uh, the first thing you right click on it is what it will fill in unless you've put it over a generator like this so it immediately popped in and said okay this is just for cobblestone <clears throat> if you want to deposit more cobblestone in there you would um, right click if you want to take one out you left click Oops, so I've got five here. I'll just show you what I mean. Uh, left click. See, I got one. If you shift left click, you'll take a whole stack at once. See? Boop, boop, boop. 
very simple if I want to put them back in like I said I don't even even have to have selected what I want to put in I just need to point at the front face the putting on the side won't work and if I just um, double right click pull everything I'm holding that's from that is that quant um, that block will go in so yeah but I want that cobblestone I want it because I want to expand my base area so just quickly before I end this episode let's do a couple of these quests silkworm see it gives you a cooked one showing proving to you that it, they're edible uh, string gives you a little more bonus string and from there I can make a, a string mesh and but I can make wool and a bed which is important so let's just make some wool again I don't have to be stingy I mean look at how much I've got so simple bed that will satisfy another quest helpful and the mesh is very simple it's just all a string like so and now I can plop down my bed and if I sleep in the next evening then I won't have to worry about the phantoms coming to get me which is helpful so okay as soon as I've done the mesh I will do the uh, the, the sieve yeah that's what I'm looking for okay to do that I'm gonna need a couple of legs base and some sides and bingo we've got ourselves a sieve now if you go to your rewards you'll get a little bit there but you'll get a bonus sieve so you might want to make a second mesh uh, to speed things up a bit and have some coins for making the bed so now I can put this down then I put the mesh in and I can start sifting uh, I can start sifting dirt right now and get some seeds uh, and pebbles and things pebbles are good if, um, cobblestone pebbles you can either turn them into cobblestone um, or you can turn them into stone crooks which last a long, longer than the wood uh, which can be very helpful uh, but generally the first thing you're looking for is to um to to get to the making gravel stage but i'll do that in the next episode there, there we go we got started what i might do before then is just get my platform ready <clears throat> just the way i like it um the dimension it's just the thing that i the way i do it anyway you'll see it next episode and I'll, I'll i'll show it to you then okay hope this has been helpful um i'll catch you next time Oh, 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 oh,